From humble beginnings as a small desert town to a bustling metropolis with towering skyscrapers and futuristic architecture, Dubai's transformation is nothing short of extraordinary. In just half a century, this once unknown backwater port has become a world-renowned business and tourism hub attracting millions of visitors each year. Today, Dubai is home to some of the world's most iconic structures, such as the Burj Khalifa, Palm Jumeirah, and the upcoming Dubai Creek Tower. But what does the future hold for this remarkable city? Join us as we explore Dubai's evolution and its ambitious plans for continued growth and innovation. Whether you're a fan of architecture, engineering, or just love to marvel at impressive structures, you won't want to miss this video. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Build Bright to stay up to date with our latest content. And don't forget to let us know in the comments which of Dubai's mega projects you'd most like to visit in person. Now let's begin our journey through the past, present, and future of Dubai's transformation. 1999 Burj Al Arab From the moment you lay eyes on it, the Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai is a masterpiece of design and engineering. Completed in 1999 after five years of construction at a cost of $1 billion, this sail-shaped building rises up to a height of 321 meters or 1,050 feet, making it one of the tallest hotel-only buildings in the world. To put that in perspective, it's taller than the Eiffel Tower and just 60 meters shorter than the Empire State Building. But the Burj Al Arab is more than just the towering structure, it's a symbol of Dubai's ambition and innovation. The hotel stands magnificently atop an artificial island, accessible to guests by their helicopter or a winding bridge that seems to defy gravity. And if you thought the hotel's helipad was just for show, think again. Over the years, it has played host to a number of record-breaking sporting events, transforming into a boxing ring, tennis court, and even a race car track. 2001 The Palm Jumeirah Dubai's Palm Jumeirah Construction on this stunning archipelago began in 2001, just two years after the completion of the Burj Al Arab. By 2006, the first residential units were sold to the public, marking the beginning of a new era of opulence in Dubai. The Palm Jumeirah is just one of three islands in the massive land reclamation project known as the Palm Islands. The others are the Palm Dera and the Palm Jebel Ali. But it's the Palm Jumeirah that truly captures the imagination, with its crescent-shaped backwater and its stunning villas and apartments. The first section to be constructed was the backwater, which was designed to protect the inner island structures from strong sea currents. By the time all 17 fronds of the Palm Jumeirah were complete, the project had cost a staggering $12 billion. But the result is a truly remarkable feat of engineering and design, a place where the world's elite come to live, work, and play. 2009 The Dubai Metro In 2009, Dubai unveiled its state-of-the-art metro system, which revolutionized public transportation in the city. The Dubai Metro is fully automated and driverless and it spans a total of 75 kilometers, making it the longest automated driverless metro in the world. The network has 49 stations, with more than 700,000 riders using it every day. The metro system has also been recognized for its sustainability efforts, with over 50% of its energy needs being supplied by solar power. Despite its impressive length, the Dubai Metro is still dwarfed by other subway systems around the world, such as the New York City subway, which has 472 stations and covers approximately 400 kilometers of track. 2010 The Burj Khalifa In 2010, Dubai added another feather to its cap with the completion of the world's tallest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa. With a height of 828 meters, it surpassed the previous record holder, the Taipei 101. By a whopping 320 meters the construction of the Burj Khalifa began in 2004 and took six years to complete at a cost of $1.5 billion. At the peak of construction, more than 12,000 workers were working on the skyscraper every day. The final slab of the Burj Khalifa was laid in 2009, and by then, more than 55,000 tons of steel had been used enough to build the Eiffel Tower six times over. Today, the Burj Khalifa remains a symbol of Dubai's ambition and innovation attracting millions of visitors every year. 2010 Al Maktoum International Airport Dubai is known for its impressive architectural achievements, but it has also invested heavily in its transportation infrastructure. The Al Maktoum International Airport is a prime example of this, as it was built to handle the growing number of tourists visiting Dubai. Located in the Jabal Ali region, the airport is named after the ruler of the Emirate of Dubai. Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Also known as the Dubai World Central International Airport, it opened its doors in 2010 at a staggering cost of $82 billion. Since its opening, 
The airport has quickly become one of the busiest in the world, handling almost 90 million passengers annually. In 2020, it was ranked as the fourth busiest airport in the world in terms of international passenger traffic, trailing only behind Dubai International Airport, Heathrow Airport, and Hong Kong International Airport. With its state-of-the-art facilities and strategic location, the Al Maktoum International Airport is poised to continue its growth trajectory and play a vital role in Dubai's future development. 2018 Dubai Frame The Dubai Frame offers visitors a unique experience to witness both the modern and older sections of Dubai by facing different directions. From one side, visitors can enjoy a panoramic view of the city's modern features, while the other side offers a glimpse of the city's older sections. Despite its grandeur, the Dubai Frame has faced some controversies including allegations of intellectual property theft by its designer Fernando Dunais. The case was taken to court, where Dunais claimed that his intellectual property was stolen, and he was never compensated for his designs. Nevertheless, the Dubai frame remains one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city, drawing visitors from all over the world. Its distinctive design has earned it the title of the biggest picture frame on the planet. As Dubai continues to push the boundaries of architectural design, the Dubai frame is just one example of the city's commitment to creating landmarks that captivate the world's imagination. 2021 The Eye In 2021, the eye on Blue Waters Island is set to become Dubai's latest and tallest architectural wonder. The eye is an observation wheel that will tower over the city at a staggering 250 meters or 820 feet tall, making it the tallest in the world. Completed in early 2021, this magnificent structure will surpass the current record holder, the high roller in Las Vegas, by a whopping 83 meters or 270 feet. The eye is composed of 192 spokes, and if you were to lay all of the cable wires in a horizontal line, they would cover an unbelievable distance of 2,400 kilometers or 1,500 miles. The eye is expected to draw millions of visitors each year, and it will offer unparalleled views of Dubai's skyline and the surrounding areas. 2021 One Zabiel. In 2021, one of the most ambitious skyscraper projects in Dubai can be found in Zabiel. The Twin Tower project is completed in mid-2021. The first tower of the project will be a whopping 300 meters or 980 feet tall, which is almost equivalent to the height of the Eiffel Tower. However, the real attraction of this project is the impressive panoramic sky cantilever that connects both towers, suspended 100 meters or 330 feet above the ground. What's more, the cantilever will offer stunning panoramic views of the city, making it a must-visit destination for tourists and locals alike. With such breathtaking heights, the Twin Tower project in Zabil is set to become a new icon on Dubai's ever-growing skyline. 2021 The Maiden District 1 In 2021, the Maiden District 1 in the Nad Al Sheba region of Dubai has transformed from a simple housing project to a sprawling metropolis. The district is famous for hosting the world's biggest horse racing festival, the Dubai World Cup, and will soon be home to the world's tallest residential tower, the Maiden Tower. This tower will stand at a staggering 711 meters or 2,330 feet, dwarfing current record holder, the Central Park Tower in New York City, which stands at 472 meters or 1,550 feet. The Maiden Tower will also feature the world's longest indoor ski slope, stretching an impressive 1 kilometer or 0.62 miles long. The tower is expected to house around 83,000 high-profile residents. The Maiden District 1 is set to be one of the most impressive developments in Dubai, further solidifying the city's reputation as a hub of architectural innovation and extravagance. 2021 Dubai Creek Harbor Dubai Creek Harbor is set to become one of the world's most impressive residential and leisure developments, dwarfing even the already impressive Made in City. The project is located along Dubai Creek, with completion slated for 2021. The exact height of the tower is being kept a secret by its architects so that competitors like the Jeddah Tower can't plan ahead and build a taller structure. However, it's estimated to rise between 900 and 1400 meters, which is up to three and a half times the height of the Empire State Building. The cost of construction is estimated at $1 billion. The Dubai Creek Tower will be the tallest man-made structure in the world once completed, offering 10 of the world's highest observation decks with rotating balconies that extend outside the tower's facade. Additionally, two garden decks, inspired by the hanging gardens of Babylon, will provide breathtaking views of the city. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Dubai's amazing transformation and its mega-projects.
The city has truly redefined what it means to dream big and push the limits of what's possible. We can only imagine what other awe-inspiring projects are in store for the future of this magnificent city. Have you had the chance to visit any of these mega projects? Or is there one that you'd love to see in person? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Build Bright, for more fascinating content. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.